It is now all but official after one of the nastiest, most expensive campaigns in the county, in the country and in San Diego history. Carl DeMaio is giving up the fight to unseat District 52 Congressman Scott Peters. Today, 10 News learned that DeMaio has conceded the race. These are the latest numbers. Peters has topped 51 percent with more than 94,000 votes. DeMaio is just under 49 percent with more than 89,000 votes. Almost 5,000 votes now separate the two. Tenu spoke with Peters today by phone from his trip to Spain. And Tenu supporter Candace Strode is live the registrar of voters. It was definitely an ugly race. Candace Peters is hoping it won't be this ugly when he returns back to Washington. That's right, and he says he'll do his part in working with the Republican Party. Now, the Registrar of Voters Office still has at least 6,000 ballots to count, but Peter's lead was enough for DeMaio to acknowledge he lost the race. From allegations of sexual harassment against Carl DeMaio to questions about what Scott Peters' campaign did when they got their hands on a stolen DeMaio campaign playbook, the 52nd Congressional District race got ugly at times. Yeah. Representative Peters, who was visiting uh, his son in Spain Sunday, told 10 News the campaign was long and that his opponent fought hard. Mr. DeMaio was an aggressive uh, opponent and um, never really faced uh, someone who works as hard or is as... Uh, as um, Aggressive as someone like that. On Sunday, DeMaio conceded defeat. With nearly all the votes counted, Peters has 51%. The Democratic incumbent says he knew what San Diegans wanted all along, and among the most important issues to voters was the cost of education. I heard so much response back about it from folks who really are worried about it or are actually burdened by it. And, uh, uh, it reminded me of the, the importance to go back and work on that. Peter says part of his focus during his second term will be to ensure San Diego remains competitive in the area of science. He also outlined three key issues he hopes both Republicans and Democrats can come together on. Infrastructure, you know, rebuilding our bridges and roads, uh, tax reform, the tax code is broken, everyone knows it. Um, immigration reform, there's a lot of agreement on that. We ought to be able to come to some resolution on that. Now, I should mention we reached out to Carl DeMaio, but he declined to comment. We're live in Kearney Mesa, Candace Crone, 10 News.